Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. This is Delaney. This is another episode of my journey to becoming a makeup artist. Now this is the kit that you can get online with the master makeup course or with the advanced makeup course you can opt to get this. Now with the elite career path that program as I mentioned in my introduction which by the way, if you missed that, I will link it in the cards so you can go back and a lot more will be making sense if you watch that before this one. But with the Elite Career Path, you do for a limited time get the makeup kit included. You can purchase it separately on their website. I will be linking the previous video that I have talking about this as well as Online Makeup Academy so you can definitely go check them out. If you're interested in seeing what came in the makeup kit, then keep on watching. So sorry you're just looking at a box, but this is what the box looks like. And then when we open it up, I am going to put it on the floor, but I just wanted to give you a shot of what it looks like when you first dive in. So it looks like this protected with some bubble wrap. This actually came in a separate box as well with other padding. So it's definitely protected very well. So let's go ahead and get on into what comes inside the, this big box. All right, so we are back and I cleaned off the table a little bit. So let's dive in. So just want to say the box does retail for $700 if you buy it directly from their website but I do have a coupon code for you. You want to make a purchase or sign up for one of the courses through Online Makeup Academy. I do have a code which I will pop up on the screen for you. It is for $100 off. So definitely use that if that's something that's interesting to you. If you wanna sign up, it will save you a lot of money. <laughs> um, okay, so let's dive in. All right, starting with the first thing that came out of the box when I opened it. So this is a selfie ring light and you put this on your phone. It does not have any branding on it. I think it's kind of similar to the e.l.f. one if you've seen that at Ulta, but this one doesn't have a specific brand on it. So it does have a charger, which I actually really like. It's not battery operated, it's rechargeable. Oop. I just redid my nails, I'm trying to be careful, but obviously that's not working. So you clip it onto your phone and you can have a ring light wherever you go, which I really, really like. They do like to include this as well because you can actually use this to take your photos for the assignments that you're doing throughout the course. And that's really, really helpful, especially if you don't already have a ring light. It makes it a lot easier to take pictures of your beautiful makeup work if you have a ring light. So I'm really glad they included that in here. And it has a button on the back that you press and it has three different levels of brightness. So you can actually get a lot of light out of this little thing, which I really do enjoy. After the third click, it turns back off again. So yeah, I've used one of these before. I really like them and I'm glad that they included this in the kit. And it also comes with the little charging cord as well. All right, up next in here, we have, what is this? Oh, okay, it's from Inglot. This is the translucent loose powder from Inglot. Ooh, it does look like a little bit escaped in the box. I've actually never tried anything from Inglot before, but I'm pretty sure powder's not supposed to be all over the thing. I could be wrong, but I've never had a translucent powder do that when I opened the box. Hmm, okay, this is extremely messy. So I've never had anything from Inglot before. I'm not sure if it's supposed to come like that or not, but you know what? It is sealed, I think. Yeah, it is sealed. What is all this? Why is there so much extra powder everywhere? Is it leaking? What is going on? I will say I can feel what the powder feels like. It's very finely milled. It does come with a little baby powder puff, which is very nice, very cute, fits right in there but there's a lot of excess powder and it is sealed. So I am not sure what that's about. I am wondering, I did knock up over the box in the car. <laughs> maybe that's why it's doing that. I don't know. And maybe it just got like, I don't know, maybe something dropped on it in my car. Maybe that's what's going on. I'm not sure, but it's not a huge deal. I just say, be careful with it. All right, I'm not going in any order. I'm just gonna be grabbing st things out of the box and talking about them. Now we have something that is fully sealed. This is the Eye Magic Professional Professional Cosmetic Professional Cosmetics. Why did why was that so hard? Five camouflage palette, and these are indeed color correctors. We'll say these are all cream products. They do have a little bit of wax bloom on the products, but that is normal with cream products like this, especially with humidity changes and things like that. So it's normal, don't be scared. <laughs> it's not mold or anything, it's just wax blooms. I've seen that before on a lot of cream products, 
So yeah, but they have a light peachy shade, a darker tan shade, then they have the light green, the purple, and the orange, and you use these to color correct, like green counteracts redness, purple counteracts dullness, I think, and I don't know. I'm not really sure what purple does. <laughs> I haven't had to use it yet. Um, orange counteracts the blues like in your under eyes and then you can mix it in with these shades to make it match the skin tone a little bit better before you apply it so you're not applying just straight up color corrector to the skin because that'd just be too much and they do actually use this in some of the modules so I'm glad that this does come in it. All right, so a lot of these items in here a lot of these items in here are in here because you're doing a makeup starting kit so if you're gonna be a makeup artist these are things that you would like to see in your kit or you should see in a kit so next up we have this is a plasto wax this is from the eye magic same brand as the color correctors that we just saw i've never heard of this brand before but it's pro only plasto wax natural natural plasto wax so i'm not really sure what you do with that Let's see. So this is made of natural wax, imitates the skin color and texture, um, effectively modifying eyebrow or creating special effects on the eyebrows. Interesting. I've never used or seen a product like this before. Let's open her up. Oh, it's in a little tin. Okay. Plasto wax. I guess it's in shade one. Wow, okay, it really is wax. I don't know what you use this for. I'm very interested to see how that goes. <laughs> I'm not really sure. I'm not a professional, so I don't really know what that's used for, but it does come in the kit, and I guess when we get to the module, I'll know. <laughs> All right, so we have three different concealers in here. We have a light, a medium, and a deep. This is the full cover creme de camouflage from Makeup Forever. And so we have shade 01, 07, and 12. So here are the shades of concealer that are included in the box. So we have 01, 07, and 12. And this is a light, a medium, and a deep. So you can definitely mix and match just depending on your client and their skin tone. So I like how they included this range. Ah, I am not doing well here. Okay. So I like how they included this range so you can definitely mix and match and work for a lot of different skin tones. I'm not sure 100% if this can even work for me. So maybe on like the fairest of fair, it might not work, but on everyone else, it may. <laughs> um, it's pretty much my skin tone. It may be a hair brighter, but I usually go a shade lighter than my skin to do concealer. So that may work for me. It may not, but uh, luckily I have really fair skin. So if I need a concealer that works on a fair skin, fair skin tone, I have it. <laughs> so I like that they include this range in here. So it will work for a majority of people, maybe not the fairest of fair, 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 but it's a really good range to include in the box. So I'm very excited about that. So it's supposed to be a full coverage, I assume, because it's called full cover. So I'm excited to use these. I've never used anything from Makeup Forever before, and these look really nice. So I will keep you updated on how these work out. All right, so before I go on with more makeup, I did want to go ahead and talk about this real quick. So in the kit, it comes with these papers. Now this is for when you do your assignments. So you write your name, email, module, and lesson, and the date so that you can hold these up in your picture with the model, whoever you're doing the makeup on, or yourself, if that's what you're doing, and you're holding it up. So basically they know that you didn't just take a picture off the internet and use that and submit that as your own work. So they're making sure that you are in fact doing the work and that's how they keep track of your progress and that's how you submit your assignment. So they did go ahead and include these in the kit. Next up, keeping with the complexion theme, we have some foundations, four different foundations and they're all from Makeup Forever. I've heard that Makeup Forever has some amazing products that makeup artists swear by, so I'm very excited to test this out. I'm also so excited because everything in this kit I don't own. So I have a huge makeup collection. I love makeup, as you can probably tell, but I don't own a single thing that's in this kit. Yeah, who would have guessed? But these are all products that are well known and loved by makeup artists and the makeup artists at Online Makeup Academy. So. Very, very excited to use these. So this is an Ultra HD foundation, supposedly really, really good for working with film and TV makeup because you want it to be 
obviously good in HD. <laughs> so let's see what shades we got here. We have Y235, Y385, Y205, and Y545. So I'm not exactly sure what that means, but let me take them out of the box for you. So it looks like we have a fair to light, a light, a medium, medium deep. Well, this is more medium. So a, a fair, a light, a medium, and a deep. I think these look really, really good. First of all, I like the packaging. It is plastic, but normally I would knock that, but it's for makeup artists. So having a really heavy foundation bottle in your kit and having multiple shades is just not it when you're doing makeup for a living because your makeup kit gets really, really heavy. So I like how they included four different foundations. I like how they're all the same foundation because they will mix together very well. And they, it's an ultra HD foundation, which means it'll be great for bridal, film, anything on camera. So, okay, it is a pump. Ooh. Ooh, it's very liquidy. Maybe I have to shake it. But it looks really nice on the skin so far. I'm not sure if it's matte or not. I believe it is, because if it's good for film, then it might be. But it looks really nice. It has a great finish on the skin so far. And the lightest shade is my shade. So I do actually have my shade of foundation in here, which is fun. I don't have to mix it with a lighter concealer or something or a color, uh, white color corrector. But that is really nice. Hopefully I like the formula. I've never tried this. I will let you know what I think when I try it out. The Ultra HD foundation feels like a second skin, but still provides medium coverage. Okay, so it's not full coverage, it's medium coverage. And the light diffusing formula looks natural and makes skin look flawless and feel moisturized. Exclusive 4K complex guarantees invisible, natural, and comfortable makeup. The fluid texture blends in seamlessly and conceals imperfections to unify the skin's texture. Okay, everything about this sounds amazing. It said that it actually was created for the film and TV industry, industry, and the advanced formulas look invisible on 4K camera to the naked eye. Perfect for pros and for you. Okay, everything about this foundation sounds amazing. So I will definitely need to do a review on this and let you know how it goes. But you'll probably be seeing me use this later on when I talk more about different modules and stuff and show you the looks that I do. So. Yeah, I'm gonna start a playlist, I believe, for these videos, so just check that out or check the description box of this video. Next up, we have a Makeup Forever Pro Sculpting Brow Palette. That is amazing. Okay, so it's, it says one. I don't know how many different uh, options they have, but it does indicate that there may be other options on their website. Ooh, it's a little palette. Okay. There's a brush in here, <laughs> didn't know that. Okay, so here is what the little palette looks like. So it looks like you get a little brush. So it has an angled brush part here and then a little spoolie part here. Perfect for brows, love that. And it comes in a little kit. So these shades are perfect for me because I have light hair and that's pretty much my brow shade, so I like that. It does come with a clear wax, it seems, and then I'm not sure what this is, maybe to conceal around it and carve out the brows. I will learn more about that later. But these are the brow powders on this side, and you get a darker one, a medium tone, and a lighter one. This would be perfect for blonde hair. This one could kind of go from blonde to like dark blonde, maybe light brown. So yeah, this works for me. I'm not sure if it would work for all hair colors, obviously. Black is not in here, so, or red, there's no auburn in here, but you can use eyeshadow as a brow powder as well. So I'm glad that I have this for my brows in particular, but if you need different shades, you can always mix and match these with a deeper powder and an eyeshadow at that if you're really in a pinch. So really glad this is included in here. Can't wait to try it out. I'm usually not a brow powder person. I usually use pencil, but for clients, a brow powder for me is much much easier. When I was doing weddings, I was using brow powder and not pencil because it just looked more natural. Next up in here is some lashes. Now I'm not sure what brand this is. Oop. Okay. <laughs> Love the sparkly packaging, first of all. So it does say it contains tweezers and it has a beautiful red glittery packaging. It's in the style of dolls. Yeah, it says dolls right here. I never use eyelashes. I'm gonna be perfectly honest. 
And yeah, so this is all the lashes that I'm gonna ever need. <laughs> Um, if I do actually do other people's makeup, of course, I might do lashes if they want, but it's not really my thing, but maybe I'll learn some new things in the modules about how to apply falsies and maybe I can get it to work for me. I like that these are included in here. I will definitely try them out and get back to y'all. Next up, we have another Makeup Forever item. This is the Excessive Lash Mascara. Excessive Lash creates long-lasting panoramic volume that fans out for a truly dramatic eye-opening effect. Works to load from the root to the tip to ensure absolutely no clumps. Okay, cool. No clumping here, hopefully. Ooh, okay. I love the packaging of this. It's like, it feels metal, or at least the cap does. The bottom feels like plastic, the cap is cold. It feels like metal. So here's what it is. It almost looks like it has like a tin top to it, which is kind of fun. I'm gonna open it up because I know obviously I'm gonna use it. So let's see what the brush looks like. <gasps> Ooh, it's so cute and thin. Okay, so that is wonderful for lower lashes and top lashes. I really like brushes like that because I feel like I won't necessarily hit my, hit the brushes to my eyelid <laughs> or, you know, getting mascara everywhere. But that's really nice. I'm very excited to try that out, especially if it doesn't clump, especially if it lasts for a long time and has it lives up to those claims. So yeah, another Makeup Forever product in here. I've actually heard people really like this, so I hope it works for me. We have another Makeup Forever product. There's a lot of Makeup Forever products in here, which I'm not mad about, but just you're gonna hear that a lot in this video. Um, so this is their Hydro Boost Primer and it's a 24 hour hydrator. Okay, cool. Cause I'm a dry gal, so I definitely need some hydration. Here's what the package looks like. It has like a soft matte kind of velvety feel to the packaging, which I really enjoy. It makes it feel kind of luxe. It works for various skin types while maximizing the makeup hold. And yeah, okay. Has been specially formulated to make the skin more radiant, supple and comfortable while erasing signs of dryness. This is what it looks like. It's like a peachy color. Ooh, okay. Feels beautiful on the skin. And look at that shine. So it's not shimmery at all, but it definitely gives the skin a glow. My skin looks amazing right there. You can definitely see the spot that I just put the primer. That I think I'm gonna really, really like. So awesome. <laughs> I hope that some of these products become staples in my routine because I've never tried Makeup Forever before and I have a good feeling that I'm gonna like these products. Next up, we have another Inglot product and this is the Inglot Duraline Makeup Mixing Liquid. I have been wanting to try this for so, so long. I have heard people rave about this. Ooh, how do I open it? Okay, there we go. <laughs> I have heard people rave about this online. So it basically takes anything you want and turns it into an eyeliner or makes it waterproof. So you can take eyeshadow and make an eyeliner out of it. You can use this with your, your pigments and stuff like that to make them stay in place and waterproof. This stuff looks absolutely incredible and you apparently don't need that much of it. It's a little dropper. So you kind of use this to pick up and drop the product. It's in a glass bottle, super cute, love it. The size is small, but I really don't think that you're gonna need a lot of it. So this size will be perfect. And especially for a makeup kit, it's a perfect size. There's so many different ways that you can use this product. And I'm so, so ready to try this out. I've been wanting to try this for so long. So I'm, I am ready. <laughs> Next up, we have a bronzer. This is from Makeup Forever. This is the Pro Bronze Fusion Bronzer Complex compact why can't i speak this is in shade 10 m get your summer glow all year long no trace no powdery finish only mistake proof color this breakthrough formula glides on easily for extremely natural tan it's lightweight buildable coverage and effortless blendability will give a luminous bronze finish that's so easy to apply and it never looks powdery or unnatural it's also waterproof i think this is the matte one i don't see much of a sheen yeah, I think that's the matte side. Actually, I feel like this will work for a lot of different skin tones. I'm very happy. <laughs> I can use this on fair skin tones with a very light hand. <laughs> um, and I can also use this on deeper skin tones or medium to tan kind of skin tones. I think I might need a deeper bronzer for deep skin tones, but for a lot of different skin tones, I think this will work. Um, definitely, as you're working with your kit, you need to kind of learn to accommodate 
you have to accommodate every single skin tone. So having this is wonderful and I can use it for a lot, but I'm definitely will need a bronzer for a deeper complexion as well. The Juvia's Place ones I've heard are really, really wonderful and have a beautiful shade range. So I might try those, but for in the kit, I think it's a beautiful product to include. And if the claims are true, I am going to love this product. So look what they included in here. These are sequins and glitter and stuff. I have no idea how I'm supposed to use this in a makeup setting because this almost looks like a kind of craft kind of glitter, but they did include it in the box and I'm very excited. I'm hoping that they actually teach me how to use this in a safe way because they do not look like eye safe glitters, but I, as you can probably tell from my name, I love glitter and this really just, I love the little compartments in here. I think the glitters in here are beautiful and you can use for a ton of different looks. I, oh my God, especially around Halloween time, I'm gonna use this like crazy, but I'm really excited they included this in here. I was not expecting that to be a part of this, but uh, yes. So each one has its own little compartment. I'm not gonna do it right now because the glitter is gonna fly everywhere but I like the layout of it. I love the shades that are included in here. Unexpected, but happy to see it in here. Next up, we have from Inglot, this is their high gloss lip oil. So it's interesting that they, they included a lip oil and not really a gloss. I guess it's a hybrid because it says a high gloss lip oil. This packaging though, that's fun. It's like metal. Um. Ooh, okay, that is amazing. Okay, so for makeup artists, it's actually easier to have something like this because you can just use your metal palette and spatula to just grab what you need and you use this little turning thing here and it'll release, it'll pump out the product here. So you can really kind of use precision this feels like kind of a silicone-y top to it. So if this was your personal collection, you could put this directly on your lips. But for makeup artists, this is gonna be wonderful because you can clean the edge of this with alcohol or with some kind of cleaner. And then you can also release however much product you would like at a time and you don't waste any. I am very interested in seeing, I'm very intrigued. This packaging is amazing. I kind of wish a lot of lip glosses were packaged like this. I think it's a very clean way of doing it. It's very luxurious and weighted. Hmm. Inglot is impressing me. And it is in a clear shade, so it'll work with every lippy. Another product from Inglot. So this is their makeup fixer. And I assume that's a setting spray. Here is what it looks like. It is just a clear bottle with a mister at the top. And it kind of looks like, I don't know. Kind of giving me Fix Plus vibes, but just with a different bottle. So I don't know what this smells like or how it wears. I'm not gonna be able to really tell you that from this video. Inglot has been impressing me so far, so hopefully this is a good setting spray. <laughs> you will see it probably in future videos. So next up, we have the one, the only, the holy grail product that every makeup artist needs to do makeup in a sanitary and safe way. This is the Metal Palette and Spatula. So I'm not sure what brand this is from, if it's from their own brand or what. I guess it doesn't really matter. But it comes with a little pouch that has the spatula and the palette in it, and you can keep it in here or you don't have to. It's up to you. <laughs> but it does have a hole in it, so you can kind of keep your finger in here, and when you're using it, it makes it easy to just grab on and use it while you're doing makeup. When you're doing makeup on clients, you always want to take makeup out of whatever you're using and put it on the palette. And that is a way that you can easily clean this in between clients and you can keep everything nice and sanitary. So that's the metal palette and it has the little hole right here with a little grip thing so you can use it easily and just hold on to it. You can mix foundations on here. You can put your eyeliner on here. You can put pretty much everything on here and work with it and get it to how you need to and then apply it to your client. And then this can be cleaned and the spatula can be cleaned as well. So you have this rounded end for the spatula and then you have a pointed end. I like how they give you both options just depending on what you're trying to get out of here. But these are pretty much the most important thing that I found that are in the makeup artist kit in terms of sanitation and doing 
makeup on clients in a sanitary and safe way. They have a nice little travel pouch here. So once you have your clean palette and spatula, you can put it back in here and it protects it in your kit. From, if you wanna keep your own makeup sanitary, you can get one of these for yourself, even if you're just doing makeup on yourself. If you want, if you struggle with acne and you don't wanna put like a doe foot applicator on your face and then dunk it back into the product and you wanna keep things hygienic, just to keep your skin nice and clean and clear, I would say you can actually put your foundation on here, you can put your concealer on here just for you and make sure that your applicators and everything stay clean so that you don't touch acne with a brush or anything like that and then put it right back into the container and get everything contaminated. So that's just another tip. Definitely look into getting one of these if you struggle with that. So many different uses for this. Very glad it's included. Next up, we have another Inglot product. This is their AMC Eyeliner Gel. So I think it's in the shade black. <laughs> Doesn't say on the box, but we shall see when we open it up. It is in shade black. Here's what the packaging looks like. Maybe Ingl maybe AMC is the shade. I'm not sure, but it is black. You can see from the sides and from the bottom, that is the shade. But this is a cream eyeliner. This is a gel eyeliner. So this is perfect for obviously using your metal palette and spatula, taking the spatula, getting some out of here and then putting it onto your metal palette and then working on a client from there. It's a lot easier to do that than use an eyeliner pencil and sanitize that. But, ooh, it's sealed. Okay, we love a fresh seal. <laughs> So satisfying. <laughs> but this is what the eyeliner looks like. So cute, so fresh, so new. <laughs> Can't wait to dig into that. But it's in a plastic little jar here. And I think it's supposed to be waterproof too. Let me check. This is a vegan formula and it is waterproof, but it may contain carmine in it. So it does give a disclaimer on the box. It may contain carmine. I don't know if that's because it's in, made in the same factory as things that have it. And that is a little contradictory, but I'll let you do with that information what you will. But yeah, so here is the gel eyeliner. I'm very excited. I am ready to try this out. I've never actually tried a pot eyeliner like this and hopefully it works well in the waterline because I don't know about y'all, but I hate using eyeliner in the waterline. So maybe this will be a little easier to use and I can apply it with a brush or something. So yeah, maybe it'll convert me to wearing eyeliner. <laughs> I just don't normally wear it that often, but I'm definitely excited to see how this works out. And if it's waterproof, even better. <laughs> but I think it's had good reviews. I feel like I've seen this before and people were liking it but I'll keep you updated on how I feel about it. This is from iMagic Professional Cosmetics. This is their 16 color eyeshadow palette. Very cute packaging. It's sealed. Oh my God. All right, so here's what the palette looks like. Really cute packaging, I will say. I like that. So this is from iMagic, like I said. Still never heard of the brand, obviously. So here is what the palette looks like. There are some beautiful shades in here. I don't know what the formula is like. I will insert some swatches over on this side for you, but the shimmers look beautiful in the pan and the neutrals. I like that there's some bright pinks in here. There's some cool tone pinks and there's some regular neutral mattes as well. There's some kind of like rust red kind of neutrals as well. Really nice palette. I mean, I've never heard of this brand, but I'm actually really excited to try that out. Really cute palette, really cute packaging. Next up we have Okay, this, so this says, this is an Online Makeup Academy Pro Line Blush Palette. So maybe Online Makeup Academy does have their own makeup products. I was not aware of that, but that's kind of cool. Didn't know that. So let's open her up. So here is what the packaging looks like. It's in plastic packaging, but that's okay. Very light, very easy to take with you on in your kit. So, ooh, okay, so it does not have a mirror, that's okay. <laughs> Not all palettes need mirrors, but it does look like there's a good range of shades in here. So you have some like red, bright pink, bright peach, and then you have some more like kind of muted shades. I like the range in here. I think this would work for pretty much every skin tone. I think there's a shade in here for everyone and especially to mix and match. It looks like the center shade has some shimmer and the rest, well, it looks like this, this, and this one have shimmer and the rest are mattes. So I think that's a nice kind of range and inclusion of different formulas. So yeah, again, I will insert swatches right here for you so you can see, 
but I definitely think I'm going to be gravitating towards these two neutral shades right there most for me but I also have been loving these cool toned pinks lately so very excited to see what that looks like and I think I might want to mix and match a little bit I don't know I don't have a lot of palettes like this for blush so I'm very excited I'm interested to see how many I'll actually get use out of for my everyday makeup, but I know that for a bridal kit or something, for taking this to work with clients, this is gonna be absolutely perfect. So yes, love that, love that it's included in here and really cool that they have their own pro line. Next up, we do have a brush. So this is from Inglot. This so yeah, this is the Inglot 31T brush and it looks like it is for eyeliner. It's a very, very nice thin line. It's kind of hard to show up on here, but look how thin that is. That's gonna be perfect for eyeliner application. Love that, gonna use that obviously with the gel eyeliner, but I can use a brush with anything. So yeah, I think that's a nice addition to my makeup collection as well. What's this? This has nothing on the front. <laughs> This is what it looks like. It has absolutely nothing written on it. It's a nice, cool, like stone-like marble kind of pattern. Oh, it's an eyeshadow palette. Okay, okay. All right, so this is what it looks like. I have no idea what the brand is. I honestly don't. It doesn't have anything on either side. That could get very confusing. I'm gonna say I don't really love that about it, but once I find out more, hopefully it's good quality. Okay, so here's what the palette looks like. All right, when you see this palette, what do you think of? <laughs> I saw them use this on one of the modules and my mind instantly went to the Morphe Jaclyn Hill original palette. Obviously this is not it, but for me, like this looks exactly like it. I will go ahead and pop that other one on the screen. I'll do a side-by-side -side of these two palettes, but oh my God, they look very similar, <laughs> at least from memory. But I do love the pop of blue. I love the dark blue as well. You get a little bit of purple in here and then you get a bunch of neutral shades. So they did include two eyeshadow palettes so far and I'm pretty sure you can find a shade in these palettes that you can use and it'll be great for clients. So also if I want to have these palettes dedicated for my makeup artist kit and I don't want to keep them in my personal collection, like I'll dedicate these to be used on clients, I can do that as well. Haven't decided what I'm gonna do yet. I guess it just depends. But this is what it looks like. Very pretty. Some pretty uh, shimmer shades in here. You get some mattes and shimmers. Doesn't look like they're super, super glittery, but that's fine. Not every palette needs to be. It does come with a very small mirror. Hi, that's you guys. <laughs> hey. But yeah, it's a big palette. It's a big boy. But it's nice and flat and compact. So yeah, cool. All right. <laughs> I don't like that I don't know what brand it is though. <laughs> next up, we have another palette. So next up, we have the Online Makeup Academy Pro Line Contour Blush Highlight Palette, which I imagine has all three in there, contour, blush, and highlight. It's another like same kind of packaging as the other blush palette. Ooh, these are bright. Oh my God. Okay, so the blushes kind of lean a little bit on the coral end. So I am glad that the other blush palette was included because oh my God. Now, as for contour, I guess this shade would be perfect for fair skin. These two shades, they're definitely a highlight kind of shade. This is a highlight, obviously it's white, but, ooh, it's really soft, okay. I will again include swatches where I can, but they feel nice, they look nice. These coral shades might not be my skin tone kind of blushes, but they look beautiful and I know that they will work on somebody. <laughs> but I like that there's so many different powders included in here, that's wonderful. So yeah, pretty much building a strong makeup kit here. Can't attest to the formula on the face yet because I haven't tried them out, but really cute. Uh, next up is another Online Makeup Academy Pro Line pa uh, palette, and this is the Lip Palette. So there are some shimmer shades, there are some regular shades, there is a little bit of wax blooming on some of the shades. Again, that's fine, that's normal with cream products but you have a bunch to choose from love the, the variety in here so you do have a couple more nude options you have some pops of color you have purples you have pinks you have orange you have coral you have red you have 
the glossy shades at the top, those have shimmer in it. And this one actually has glitter in it, which is very interesting. Have not seen a shade like that included in any lip palettes before, but I'm really, I'm ready to dive into that. I feel like especially for Halloween, not that this is Halloween makeup, but especially with Halloween coming up, I'm gonna be starting to do a little bit more fun, colorful makeup. And these are some colors that I don't have in my normal collection. So I'm happy that they're included in here. Really fun, really different shades. Cool to be included in here, <laughs> especially this one. I'm very, I don't know, like I've never seen that kind of chunky glitter in a lip product before. So yeah, that's so fun. Drum roll. Last but not least, the last item in the makeup kit is a brush roll. So brushes are the artist's tool. Like this is what you will be using to apply all of these products that came into the kit. And I'm glad they included this in here because you need good brushes in order to do really good makeup because that's just kind of how it goes. So you're not going to be putting your fingers all over every single client. So you need brushes to do it safely and sanitary. And okay, I like this little roll thing that they included. I'm not sure what brand it is. This is a faux leather roll too, by the way, if that's something that you are interested in. Now, this is something that won't exactly fit on frame. <laughs> if you want me to go over every single brush, I can, but obviously I don't think you really need me to. They have a highlight kind of fan brush, blush brush, foundation brush, concealer brush, eyeshadow brushes, uh, a little like sponge applicator kind of brush, a spoolie, eyeliner brushes, you name it, it's in here. So many different brushes. Like, I could go over the names for you, but it's not really going to give you much of, I don't know. I don't think it's going to be that helpful because you obviously know what the shapes of brushes are, and that's pretty much what they're named. So this is the brush roll. I will say that it smells like leather. I know it's probably faux leather, but it does have a leather kind of smell to it. But as far as the brushes go, I feel like they're okay. I feel like they feel fine. I obviously have a huge makeup collection, so I have a ton of brushes already, but I'm glad that they included this for someone who's just getting started in makeup. If you're just getting started, this is perfect to start your brush collection. That is everything. So that is everything that came in the makeup kit from Online Makeup Academy. I'm really, really happy with the makeup that came in here. Now, $700 is a big price tag, but makeup is also very expensive. Just the foundations alone, I imagine, are probably approaching $100, like $200, because we have four shades included in this kit, plus the concealers, and they're from brands that are well-loved. These Inglot is a really well-known makeup artist kind of brand, and Makeup Forever actually is at Sephora, so you know automatically that all those products are cha-ching expensive and building your kit does take money it does take an investment to build your kit so having all of these brand name products in here really really up the price so i'm really happy with the ones that they included in here i think the inglot duraline is going to be such a fun thing to try out obviously there's a few products in here that i'm like hmm what do I actually do with these? I haven't really completed the course yet. This is just all of my first impressions and telling y'all what came in the kit and what I think of it so far. I have a lot of knowledge about makeup. I haven't tried any of these items, <laughs> but I have a huge makeup collection. I'm very excited to get reviews on each and every one of these products. And you'll be seeing these later on in my collection videos and my ranking videos. If you want a dedicated review to any of these products in here, please do let me know in the comments. I will be happy to go over things more in depth. So that is all I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed seeing what came in the makeup kit. Definitely, if you are, if you are thinking about becoming a makeup artist, this kit is a great way to build your kit and give and kind of have a starter pack for being a makeup artist with great, well-known products in it. So in that respect, I 100% recommend. I don't know, I can't attest to the quality yet, like for me, because I haven't tried them on my skin. From what I can tell so far, they seem not really nice. So I will definitely keep y'all updated on how I think each of the formulas perform and what products, maybe I'll do like a what products I would repurchase versus what I wouldn't kind of thing. I will go ahead and put the Inglot website and the Makeup Forever website down below because that's what pretty much almost all of this was. 
Did you have a favorite product in here? Is there something that you're really excited to see me use? Definitely let me know in the comments. So that's all I have for you today. Thank you so much for watching. Again, if you wanna see any of my videos about becoming a professional makeup artist and my journey with the Online Makeup Academy, then definitely check the description box, the cards. I should have a playlist for all these videos. But yeah, <laughs> thank you so much for watching and please try to stay safe, happy, and healthy in this crazy world. Please like and subscribe. That would help me so, so much. I would love to have you in my little family here. I definitely would love for you to tag along on my journey to becoming a certified professional makeup artist. But thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye guys.